We're at Impending Doom at Super Chief Gallery, curated by Kristen and I. It's called Impending Doom because of the times we're going through right now. It just feels very tumultuous and like we don't know what's coming next and we wanted to make some art about that. Yes, we're based in Los Angeles. We've been living here for the last couple of years. I feel like especially now, like things have been kind of like sensitive for artists, you know, it's like tough time for everyone. With that said though, we have a lot of community out here. So yeah. even though it's like tough times, there's a lot of like buddies that are going through it too that you can talk to and bounce yeah. things off of, you know. We started curating the show. Maybe like a a little bit of, like a year ago. About a year ago. I mean, these days you got to give all the artists more than a year heads up, so it's been over a year since we've been curating. Yeah, we're like so stoked on all the work that everyone made. I'm Julian Evelyn, and this is Opinion Doom, curated by Kristen Lu Wong, Luke Pelletier. This is my work. The title of the show that they curated is Opinion Doom, and doing sports something that is terrifying like I can't do so this was kind of the theme it's also something fun where you got to do a basketball and like I also feel like this when I go to the gym like I don't know what to do with any of the machines so it's kind of this idea of trying but like not trying and then this piece here is just like end of the night kind of sick of everything just fucking kicking it I haven't done that many group shows I've been doing a lot of solo shows so I was excited to do something that was more than just me and I got to participate and do something more community driven. My name's Homeless Cop and here's a couple of paintings I made. This is a uh, Bobby Hill finger. It's basically Bobby Hill with Bart Simpson hair and Ned Flanders clothes on. This one here is a uh, Kind of like the Grateful Dead logo that we know, but with a happy face in the middle. I kept thinking that you could put a lot of different logos in the middle of that Grateful Dead logo and it might look pretty cool. And then over here we have Hasbulla. He loves cars. Wouldn't it be fun if he had a knife and uh, there's a city on fire and there's a cool skull with money on it. I like making paintings and uh, it's great I can be in the show and uh, just having fun out here in uh, Los Angeles, best city in the world. This piece is called Home Sweet Home. I was really interested in exploring quilts and its connection with um, women and its history, like being a part of the home and a part of people's lives. In Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, she points out how quilts are connected to every phase of your life. You're born on a quilt. You like grow up going to bed and sleeping every day on a quill. So the fact that everyday ordinary women would make these things and they were like amazing pieces of art and it's a way for them to express themselves creatively and also make something that could be used in the home every day. I thought it was like really powerful. Quilting bees were a way for women to socialize amongst themselves in a time where they weren't always given that freedom. The fire is a metaphor, I guess, for maybe like redefining and changing like what the home can be or taking back what the home can be. I love how active fire is. I love how dramatic it is. It adds a sense of urgency and energy to any piece. Like even though it's a surreal image, I wanted to include like everyday elements that could also ground it like to people and their reality. I've been making a lot of music my whole life and I've been making paintings as well. And I feel like this is the first time where I've really taken my song and my painting and like made them one. And I'm really excited about it. I've put the whole entire song with the chords on the painting so that technically the viewer could play the painting if they wanted to. And then it's got multiple like uh, views of the scene that's happening. The lady in the tower is a woman that uh, the protagonist met at the market. Um, I come up with the stories, kind of like uh, I sit with the guitar, and then once I say something that I kind of think is interesting, I'll say another thing that I think maybe kind of builds on that thing and makes it more interesting. Halfway through writing the song, I kind of start to realize what it's about, and I start to try and create direction for where it's gonna end. 
this little house on fire, we realized in um, Kristen's painting that her uh, background looked a lot like my background. She even had a little apple tree outside the window of her painting. I got her, I stole her pink and I painted the house pink to look like her house. And then I asked her if she would be willing to paint her flames on my building to, to kind of like drive our narratives together and put them in the same world.